So here we are, uh, painting, priming the rim on the Alice. I am trying my hardest to get this rust to uh, stop. And a couple people said in a couple, I don't know, quite a few videos ago to use some rust converter. And uh, that would be, th that's a great idea to uh, use a rust converter and convert all of this rust back into uh, steel again. And I actually think uh, there's nothing really structurally bad about this rim. It's in pretty good shape and it's just all of it is surface rust. However, the 8N, uh, since it had sat for 15 years outside, and all the tires went flat and of course the bottom of the rim uh, contacted the ground and it made the uh, rim kind of weak in that one spot and I think on the 8N I will use some uh, rust converter to try to turn it back into steel again uh, you can take your uh, a pocket knife or screwdriver or something and flick the rust off of it and you know you're uh, peeling away the rim, you know, the thickness of the rim, you can peel it away. And uh, I'm going to, it it would be a good idea on that to use some rust converter. But I'm just priming this thing now. I'm just making it, uh, it, even with it being brown, you know, not the color that it should be, it still looks pretty good. And I am, I'm glad I'm doing this. It was, uh, it was really needed. And getting that calcium out was a really good thing to do. So we're just more and more painting. And this front spot here really has a lot of nooks and crannies and grooves and whatnot. And it's kind of a, a pain to paint cause, because of all that. And it's just, uh, just one of those things. But... I'm managing. It would be nice to have like a spray booth or something and spray this, but you know, you kind of waste a lot with spraying, but you also have to do less, less coats when you brush something, so uh, six of this and half a dozen of that, as that old saying goes. And I made sure to paint my welds uh, where I had, I had welded that valve stem guard on because the the welds I've noticed, which it, it makes sense, the welds are the first things to rust on something if you don't paint it, and that's why I was made I made sure to paint the inside and the outside of the uh, valve stem guard and uh, try to do the best job that I can, and I'm really really glad I did this. It, even with it being brown, it looks, uh, it, I think it looks better. Some people probably don't think that it does, but I think it looks pretty good. Now we get to paint the outside of this rim, or I guess it'd be where the inner tube goes, uh, black. I'm just getting my drill uh, hooked up here, and I'm stirring the paint on the ground. And I know the primer is not paint, it is just primer, and I'm, like I said, I'm just trying to get the rusting to, to quit, and I'm, I'm putting in this extra layer of paint in here. Uh, this is Rust-Oleum Gloss Black, and if I remember correctly, this was a paint that I picked up on a, a I saw them posted on Facebook Marketplace for free. They had a whole bunch of Rust-Oleum paints and stuff for free, and I figured, why not? I'm going to pick that up, and, you know, it was old, a little bit old, and so you just have to stir it some more, and it seems to work just fine, so, you know, you can't turn down free paint. So that pretty much concludes painting this rim. Uh, it looks pretty good, much better than what it did before. Uh, I'm really happy I stopped all the rusting on this. Save myself some money in the process so at some point the rim here will get painted the inside of this will be orange and then this outside uh, rim on the outside 
will be painted uh, either the same orange or I might do it like a gray or a silver. So, But she looks pretty good. I got the valve stem all put in and now we're just waiting for it to dry so I can put the tire back on and put the tube in. So hope everyone enjoyed this video. I might have a, another video on fixing that tire. I'm not entirely sure exactly what I'm going to do as of right now, but I need to make some decisions here pretty quick, and then we will uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I had originally said that that tire is $300 brand new. Actually, it's uh, $420. I just looked again, and either the ad I saw sold, or I was just uh, I was looking at the wrong tire. So uh, $420. I think I'm going to fix that one and put this thing all back together and go from there, I guess. So, hope everyone enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and hopefully we will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.